What's up guys, I'm back here with another video, except for today, it's not a review, it's not kind of like a day in a life, but I just kind of want to show you how my dogs completely just run my life. So let me show you what I mean. All right, so we are upstairs in the bedroom, and of course we have our bed. And down below you see a little dog bed, and a teepee, and another teepee. So we got four beds for the dogs. We've got one, two, three, and the main bed makes four. So right now our house is set up for staging, even though staging's already done and over with. We still have the realtor's staging supplies in here. So that's like the staging comforter and pillows, and those aren't our plants at all. But how did we end up with so many beds for the dogs? Well, this one was Biggie's first bed, that gray one. And then we just thought, you know what, we need another one because that one was maybe for the bedroom or the living room, I don't even know anymore. And then I was like, you know what, this TP is only $20, I'm getting it. And then when we got Karma, she just kinda started to chew up the corners. This was actually there on that corner and I flipped it over, but look how much she chewed. It's supposed to look like this. But she was just a little puppy when she did that. Karma, you didn't mean it right. For Christmas, I was actually trying to get a bigger teepee that they could both share. This one's very sturdy. Karma doesn't chew on this at all. The ends are covered completely. I mean, I know this one was, but not anymore. And it came out really small. So lesson of this story is that I should have spent the extra couple dollars and got a bigger one. But that's not the end, you guys. We have even more beds to share. Here we are upstairs in our landing area. This is set up for staging as well. Those aren't our pillows. That's not our furry rug. The dogs actually really like this rug. I don't know why. I mean, it is really soft, so I kind of get it. But this is Biggie's main bed. Now this circular couch used to go down here in our first living room. And it was right where that couch is right now. I won't focus. So the realtors moved it all around, um, but that was where Biggie would lay every day, every night, just when we were in the house, this was his spot. And you can probably still see all the fur that he's left behind. So he hasn't been laying on this couch at just as much as he used to, but look at all that fur. I, by the way, have the best pet hair remover for upholstery, uh, anything like that. I will make sure to link it down in the description box of this video. Now, even though Karma is over a year old, she is still chewing things that she should not, like this plant right here. This isn't even ours. This is part of staging. Okay, so now we're going downstairs. And remember what I said about the round couch. It's not there anymore in its original spot. So Biggie does not lay on that couch, but he has a new couch. Okay, so this is the couch that was downstairs that replaced the round couch. And this couch actually used to be over there in that room where that gray chair is. Realtors rearranged, put this nice blanket on top of it, and the dogs absolutely love it. It is incredibly soft, and I've seen tutorials on how to make this on Instagram and YouTube, so this isn't mine. The realtors brought this in too, but they just love it. Both Biggie and Karma would not leave this spot for the longest time ever. They were obsessed. Let's see if we can get them on it. All right, looks like we got Karma here. She'll demonstrate how she likes to lay on it. Lay down. There she goes. And she is so comfy. You're a little comfy puppy. Do you like it? Do you like it? They take turns, but I feel like Biggie lays in this spot more than Karma does. So if we're in the living room and they're not there, that means they're over here just being comfy as ever. Hello, baby. So here we are in the main living room area. The Corys are going on a tour with us for this video. And you can see where Carmen is laying right now. She is in Biggie's bed. 
Are you a little bed thief? Karma, are you a little bed thief? She is. So this was a Biggie's second bed. So remember that gray bed I showed you, that flat bed? We decided to get this bigger one because he was getting bigger. We got that one when he was just a puppy. So we decided to get this one as he was growing and it still fits him even though he likes to make it look like it doesn't fit him. When we first got Karma, she was a little scared of Biggie. She would never want to get in his way or do anything to upset him. And she would also never lay in his bed until a few months ago, she started doing it. She's not afraid. She does what she wants. And sometimes Biggie comes by upset that she's in his bed. So in total, we had two teepees, the flat bed, the big bed, and now this bed. So they have a total of five beds, including the main bed for us humans. This is also another spot that Biggie likes to lay on. We put this pillow on there for him because when he was laying on there without it, he looked very uncomfortable. He would just rest his chin right here. Looks like Karma might want to, nope, looks like she's gonna lay right here. All right, so Carmen's our little chair dog model. Lay down, lay down. Biggie definitely lays on this chair more than she does, but this is how he'll lay on it. Look at her little paw. You're like royalty. Oh, and I guess technically there is another dog bed because we have this kennel here that we got for Biggie when he was a puppy. And now Karma kind of just uses it as her bedroom. She'll go in here when she wants a break, when she wants to take a nap. One thing my dogs really, really love is the laser pointer. And so when we can't go out on a walk, if it's too hot that day, we will play with this. They're like cats. So you heard Biggie barking at me to move the laser. That's because he knows it comes from this and he just uses it as a guide to help him run. Like he wants to chase it even though he knows the light comes from this. He just wants me to point it in one direction and the other so that he can follow it while he runs. And that's just one example of Biggie being bossy. No. This is the room where everything that is not part of our staging for our home is in. And so here is Karma's actual dog bed. It's just kind of laying here really hiding my nicer things in this house. And so this is just here for now. Um, she'll use it if it's out and about. Here's Biggie, he wants to get in on the action on this video. Here is a dog toy that they were already destroyed but still love. Squeaker is still in there. I'm here because I wanna show you guys the buckets 
or baskets of little dog stuff that we have. First, let's start with this. This is something from TJ Maxx. We actually use this in our apartment to hang up all the dog leashes that we had. Dog leash, dog um, collars, dog coats. Uh, but now that we have two dogs, this really isn't enough. So I'm sure we'll use this in our next house when we move. And if you guys don't know, I'm kind of corgi crazy. I think I got this at either Walmart or Target and I gave it to my boyfriend for maybe Valentine's Day. Yep, it says be mine. And we just can't throw it out. We both love it. Here is a little basket of our dog supplies. And we just have so much stuff now. We have dog brushes. A de shutter. This is actually supposed to be covered, so I'll cover that. Um, a dog bow tie that got broken, um, so we're gonna fix that. Um, a little leash thing to tie down Biggie when we went camping once. Um, so just a lot of random stuff. And has anyone heard about this? This is dog nip. It's like cat nip, but for dogs. Um, doesn't really affect my dogs at all. They really don't care for it. They're just like, what did you put on my bed? So that doesn't really work. We have nail clippers. This goes to part of the treat puzzle. This is the missing piece to this bow tie, so I'm going to fix that. This is actually part of the doggy toothbrush, but Biggie didn't like it, so I should probably get rid of that. So this is just a little bin of doggy supplies. This is part of a Halloween costume when Biggie was a ketchup bottle one year. He actually won a dog Halloween costume contest at my work. So this is Biggie's newest winter coat. His old one is right here. This belongs to Karma now. So he doesn't fit it. It's a little tight on Karma, but we still have it. This is a cone I got for Karma when she got spayed. These are all these shirts and outfits. This is something my sister got for Biggie, but it is huge on him. I know, like really surprising. Maybe it's because he lost so much weight. I don't know, but I really do think this is meant for a big dog, but we still have it. This is a Tennessee Titans jersey for the dogs. These are actually both tight. This is for the school. Um, so these are both tight on Karma actually. So no one can really wear them unless she wants like a muscle shirt on. This is a puzzle treat. This is really great. I really love that it teaches them to use their paws in different ways and just really think about how to get treats out of here. Got this from Chewy.com. These are more costumes. This is a bandana. This is a Spider-Man costume. This is too tight on Biggie right now. Here's the ketchup bottle costume. That goes with that hat that we saw earlier over here. Another bandana. This is actually something my friend made for Tour de Corgi in Fort Collins a few years ago. So this is a little donut that we put on top of Biggie. Super cute. This is actually a like heavy duty collar Chris got for uh, Biggie. <laughs> he said he saw an ad off Facebook. He looks like a police dog when he wears it, but it is just so wide that it just like his neck's really like short. Like he has a small neck, so I don't know what he was thinking. And it just looked really uncomfortable, so we're just gonna leave that right here. And these are two little bow ties. We should probably put one on on back of them. Like I think they're cute. So this is a little bin of outfits and games. I'll just put this back right here. And then this bin, we've got doggy wipes. Oh, this came from BarkBox. It's a little thing that goes around their neck. Kind of makes them look like, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. But back in the olden times, like from Pocahontas when she went to England and wore this thing around her fancy dress and neck. This is an old bandana. This is a Christmas collar. So Biggie can be a reindeer or Karma. Another collar. This is Biggie's sock when he had something like on his paw. Um, he hates it. And we have four of them because it was a normal pack of socks for dogs. And I don't know where the other three are. So who knows? This is something we won from a local uh, dog shop. Well, dog supply shop. Um, so yeah. This is a mouse that actually, oh, Biggie actually loved these things. So I'm going to bring these downstairs so we can play with them. This is a bow tie that got destroyed. So a lot of bow ties Biggie destroys by accident. He doesn't mean it. These are little ducks. Carmel will love these when she was a puppy. This might be, ooh, this might go to the vacuum. This might be to the little handheld vacuum we have. So I'm gonna put this right here. There we go. 
that way we'll see it. So these are just a bunch of things. Oh, I need to cover this up. So this is just a bunch of our supplies that I wanted to show you guys. And now I think we'll end this video with a little look at the dogs playing with these mice. So we'll check that out. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.